This week, we'll be going over all of the manuscript collectibles in Alan Wake, and that's going to get you three achievements this time. It's going to be Paging Mr. Wake, Picking Up After Yourself, and Collector's Edition. There are going to be 106 of these throughout the game, and this is going to be the only collectible that you actually have to do not only your normal playthrough that you get everything else in, but you have to do a nightmare playthrough. Okay, so we're going to do one playthrough. I'll go through all those. Then we're going to do that second nightmare playthrough, and I'll show you those. I'll also have my playlist with the rest of my Alan Wake guides linked down in the description, as well as a link over to our written version that we do on our website, because of course we do that with all of our guides. And now, let's get to hunting. For this guide, we'll go through each of the normal manuscripts first, and then we'll go over the nightmare mode manuscripts after. I wouldn't recommend trying to get all of the other collectibles during the Nightmare Run, so do that on your first playthrough to keep the Nightmare Run as simple as possible. We won't actually see the first manuscript until after the incident that starts it all, just like it starts me telling you about how you should join our YouTube memberships. We have membership levels ranging in price with perks like some dope emotes that you can use in the comments of videos and streams, special membership roles over on our Discord, and even being featured in the producer shoutout section at the end of videos. Manuscript 1 and 2 will both be given to you during the cutscene where these are introduced. Manuscript 3 is going to be as you go through the lumber mill area. You'll pass a tractor and a truck, and then you'll find this one sitting on the ground on the path that you have to walk through. These pages glow pretty brightly, so they should be pretty hard to miss. The fourth manuscript will be as you come up to a big yellow tractor a bit later on. Head over to the left and you'll find it sitting in an old shack. Manuscript 5 is going to be as you're crossing water over some wooden logs, and you'll need to head over to the right and you'll find this one sitting on some trash by a barrel. The sixth manuscript is going to be a bit later on once you get to a generator that you need to power on, and there's going to be a shack to the right of it. Inside of that, you're going to find this one. Manuscript 7 will be slightly later as you're running up the path after a light by a shed. It's in the middle of the path, so you can't miss it. The eighth manuscript, again, is going to be super easy to spot as it's on your main pathway that you're going as you're running towards another safe haven light. Manuscript 9 will be as you're coming up to the third lumber mill area. It's going to be sitting right in front of the main gate. You can't miss that one either. The 10th manuscript is going to be once you actually reach the gas station. Get inside the fenced area and this one will be sitting by the Deerfest truck. Manuscripts 11 and 12 will be at the beginning of the episode. You'll be in a flashback and can grab two pages from the manuscript stack on a desk. The 13th manuscript is going to be in the sheriff's station in the kitchen slash break room area, whatever you want to call that, sitting on the floor. Manuscript 14 will be in the cell area on the third cell's bed. Can you turn the, lights on? the 15th manuscript is going to be out back of the sheriff's station. You'll have to break down a part of the fence, and then to the right of the old truck you'll find this one sitting on a rock. Manuscript 16 will be a bit later on once you're at the National Park. You'll be going down the steps from the cabin and find this one sitting behind the big yellow truck that Barry drove you there in. The 17th manuscript is going to be down the main road until you have a small path off to the right to a wooden covered area. This one will be sitting up there. Manuscript 18 will be back down on the main path and in the back of the crashed car. The 19th manuscript is going to be in the area where Rusty needs your help. Go to the right building before going to the left, and it'll be sitting on the stones outside. Manuscript 20 will be once you actually go into the building on the right after helping Rusty. You'll go inside and find this one sitting in front of a door. The 21st manuscript is going to be a bit later once you're going down wooden steps, and after you take a phone call, you'll then head over to the left and grab this one from on a table. Manuscript 22 will be as you're getting up to the fork in the path by a lover's peak sign. You'll take the right path up to some picnic tables and find this one sitting on the ground. The 23rd is going to be as you come up to yet another lover's peak sign a while later. This one will be right under the sign. Manuscript 24 will be right after you jump over the blocked gate going towards lover peak. 
It'll be sitting on a rock to the left of the wooden path. The 25th manuscript is going to be a little bit later. While going down the main path and right before you get to a fallen tree bridge, you'll see this one on the ground. Manuscript 26 will be after you go down a path with a bunch of bear traps. You'll get to an open area and can go to the edge of a cliff to find this one. The 27th manuscript is going to be a bit later. You'll come up to two shacks by a generator and safe haven light. In the left shack, the smaller one, you'll find this page sitting. Manuscript 28 will be once you get to the mill and go upstairs until you get to the weight elevator. Don't kick it yet, but go into the room on the next floor down and out to the balcony where you can find this one. The 29th manuscript will be up at the top of the stairs when you kick that weight to bring the elevator up and then you can just jump across to the other side where you'll find this next manuscript. Manuscript 30 is going to be after you leave the mill and head out towards a shack off to the left. If you go inside, you can climb over some boxes to find this page. The 31st manuscript will be inside the campgrounds once you get to a bathroom area. Go in and to the right to grab this one. Manuscript 32 is going to be after you cross a big bridge. You can run out to a tunnel that's blocked by a big truck and you'll find this one sitting next to it in the road. The 33rd manuscript will be as you exit Rosa's trailer, and you'll see it on the path by her fence. Manuscript 34 is going to be after a cutscene with the cops. You'll then be running away through the woods, and you can find this one to the left after you drop down. The 35th manuscript will be after you see a cop car crash, then follow the road to the right of it, and this one will be on the left at the end. Manuscript 36 is going to be a bit later once you go across a bridge. You can look to the right to find this one along the edge of the cliff. The 37th manuscript will be after a radio cutscene and head down the path where you'll find it by the fence. Manuscript 38 is going to be once you arrive at a generator to create a safe haven light. Go to the right from the light and go up the path until you get to a wall. Then go to the left from there and you'll eventually come up to a cliff where a radio tower is and you'll find this one by it. The 39th manuscript will be a while later when you have to fight a lot of Taken at a shack. A bit later you'll come up to a gate where this one will be sitting. Manuscript 40 is going to be a bit further down the main path and you'll see this one to the right on a rock. The 41st thermos will also be on the main path and to your right after you get a phone call. Manuscript 42 is going to be after you go over a bridge and poltergeists will attack you. You'll go up the hill to the left when you get out of there, and you'll find this one near the ladder. The 43rd manuscript will be after you go through a large building, go upstairs and exit out, then it'll just be sitting over to your left. Manuscript 44 is going to be a bit later as you drive up to an area with a big red barn to your left, go all the way up the wooden stairs to find this at the top. The 45th manuscript will be a little bit later on once you get to the mining museum. Head towards the entrance and you'll run into it on the walkway. Manuscript 46 is going to be a bit later once you hit a button and then have to jump down a hatch, and you'll see this one next to a gear on the main path. The 47th manuscript will be quite a while later after you have to turn off power and then go into a large building. In there, you'll end up finding this one on a wood pile to the left. Manuscript 48 is going to be once you make your way back into the forest and come across it sitting on a rock to the left of the main path. The 49th manuscript will be a little bit later on once you get through the sort of graveyard area and you get to a ghost town. You'll see this one near the edge of a bridge. Manuscript 50 is going to be after you go into the mines and you get to a big area with a couple of options on where to go. Go down the left side and you'll come up to some broken trees where you'll be able to see this one near the entrance to that area. The 51st manuscript will be after going back through the mines towards the main path and you'll drop down to see chains swinging and this one sitting on your left. Manuscript 52 is going to be as you exit the mines and go to the right up some stairs, climb up a ladder and on top of a small tower you'll find this one. The 53rd manuscript will be as you come up to a broken bridge. You'll have to go out to the left around it, and you'll see this one on the path. Manuscript 54 is going to be a bit later once you go through a big building, and head downhill on a path to the lighthouse. You'll see this one sitting to the left on the main path. 
The 55th manuscript will be during the cutscenes at the beginning of the episode. You'll be handed this one by one of the Andersons. Manuscript 56 is going to be after you go back to your room and have a cutscene. On your way out, you'll grab this by the top of the stairs before heading down. The 57th manuscript will be once you get the keys and go through the locked door. Head into the door on the left and grab this one from on a table. Manuscript 58 is going to be automatically given to you during a cutscene shortly after finding Barry. The 59th manuscript will be a little bit later on while trying to escape the clinic. You'll come up to a room with a TV, and this one will be sitting on the right by the door. Manuscript 60 is going to be after you get to the hedge maze. You'll take the right side path and then go right again at the intersection. Then take a left and you'll find this one by a tree. The 61st manuscript will be further through the maze. Once you get to an area with benches, you'll take a left, then another left, to find this one sitting on a bench. Manuscript 62 is going to be once you get to the next save haven light. You'll go to the shed nearby to find this one. The 63rd manuscript will be a little bit later on once you have to use a flashlight to clear a possessed gate. Right past that, you'll find this one. Manuscript 64 is going to be at the point where you're getting back to Barry at the end of this section, but rather than going towards him, go the opposite way and you'll find this sitting on a ledge. The 65th manuscript will be in the next section. You'll come up to a mine in an area with a lot of poltergeists and find it at the end of the tunnel. Manuscript 66 is going to be as you're trying to blow up a possessed gate with a streetlight. When you hope to power it, you'll see this one sitting on the ground. The 67th manuscript will be a bit later when the light is talking to you. It'll drop this one down for you automatically. Manuscript 68 is going to be shortly after that when you go past some bear traps. You'll come up to a stone building and find this one next to a generator. The 69th manuscript will be after you have to jump out of a window from a cabin later on and then you'll grab this one from on the porch outside. Manuscript 70 is going to be after the big battle on the stage at Anderson Farm. You'll go off to the right and around back to find this one. Then shortly after that you'll find the 71st manuscript once you get to the big barn with a cardboard cutout in front. Head around the right side and all the way out in the field over by a tractor you'll see this one sitting on a wagon. Manuscript 72 is going to be inside of that big barn. Just head in there and go up to the second floor, where you'll find this one. The 73rd manuscript will be a bit later once you get to the actual Anderson house and head upstairs to find this one. Manuscript 74 is going to be at the beginning of this episode once you're finally able to get out of the jail cell. It's dropped by the FBI agent that gets... taken? The 75th is going to be right next to the last one. Manuscript 76 will be a bit later as you're running down the streets with the sheriff. You'll come across a familiar looking diner that you'll need to head inside, and this one will be inside of the bathroom area. The 77th manuscript is going to be a few buildings down when you finally get to go inside the mayor's office and it'll be sitting on the floor next to a podium. Manuscript 78 will again be a few buildings down inside of a library. It'll be sitting on the desk in the back. The 79th manuscript is going to be outside of the church. Instead of going inside once you're able to, you'll want to go out to the right and go into a yellow truck to find this one sitting in the back. Manuscript 80 will be inside of the church. Just go in there and it'll be on the podium in the main area. The 81st is going to be out back of the church when you're on your way to the helicopter section. At the end of the last set of stairs, you'll want to keep going straight to find this one on top of a picnic table. Manuscript 82 will be a bit later on once you start getting to the power station areas. You'll go through a few gated areas and run into this one on the main path. The 83rd manuscript is going to be in the same sort of area, but this one will be on top of a container with a red chair. You'll have to use a little scissor lift to get up there. Manuscript 84 will be after a cutscene where you follow Weaver through a pipe, and once you get control again, you'll head straight through to find this one on the left. The 85th manuscript is going to be after you're split up from Barry and Sarah again. You'll run off to the left to go through a fenced area, and find this one sitting on a rock on the right side. Manuscript 86 will be a little bit into episode 6 once you go through a big tunnel. 
this one will just be sitting on the road. The 87th is going to be a bit later, also in another tunnel once you get to the end, and this one will be sitting again in front of a big truck. Manuscript 88 will be quite a bit later. You'll be driving up to the entrance of Larson's, but you'll want to go around the roadblock and to the end of the road to find this one stuck to a truck. The 89th manuscript is going to be in the junkyard area, which is Larson's. Once you get up to a safe haven light after a big open area, you'll find this one sitting on an oven. Manuscript 90 will be a bit later once you get to an area with buildings and have to use a searchlight to clear a bunch of enemies. You'll have to push a minecart to get into a building and then can grab this one from in the back of that building. The 91st manuscript is going to be a little while later on once you have to fight enemies and get a generator up for an elevator. When you get up to the top of that and get off, you'll be able to pick this one up off the ground. At this point, you should get the picking up after yourself achievement. Then, just finish out the rest of the game and we'll start our nightmare playthrough after to get the last 15. So with us getting into the beginning of episode 1 on nightmare mode, we're gonna have to go through the first few bits of the game before we can actually start grabbing these new manuscripts. The first one will be as you're making your way to the gas station, you come up to a tree that fell onto a fence, go to the left of that, and pick this one up. Nightmare Manuscript 2 will be a bit later when you come up to the river that you have to cross with some fallen logs and rocks. This will be sitting on the ground near the end of that section. The third Nightmare Manuscript is going to be at the end of the episode at the gas station. The back of the building has some bathrooms and you'll find this one back there. Nightmare Manuscript 4 will be the only one in Episode 2. Once you get near the end of the episode when you're making your way back to Barry, you'll find this one in the middle of the road, pretty close to the cabin. The fifth Nightmare Manuscript will be a bit into Episode 3. After the radio station, you'll get to the bridge with all the poltergeists. Once you get out of that, you can go up the hill to the left and find this one from on a tree stump. Nightmare Manuscript 6 is going to be once you get to the graveyard with the fast take in and instead of going to the right when you get to the ghost town, you're going to go to the left to find this one. The 7th Nightmare Manuscript will be in the same area to the last. You're going to go right on the tracks and across the bridge, then you can find it in a shack to your left. Nightmare Manuscript 8 will be the only one in Episode 4 and it won't be for a while in the episode. But before you get to the stage battle, you'll be able to grab this one from an outhouse by a cabin over to the left. The ninth Nightmare Manuscript will be after the power station area in Episode 5, where you end up coming to a bridge with a control room. On the road, you'll see a school bus on the left, and you can go grab this one by the door. Nightmare Manuscript 10 is going to be after the bridge with the control rooms. Once you get to the building with a weaver, you'll go down to hit a switch that she once flipped, and you'll need to run left around the fence to find this one sitting on a rock. The 11th Nightmare Manuscript will be after you go through the pipe with Weaver. You'll end up going towards the crashed helicopter and see a big fallen tree trunk on your right. Go down there to grab this one. Nightmare Manuscript 12 is going to be a little while into Episode 6 once you get to the Majestic Hotel. You'll go into the lobby and grab it from on a bench. The 13th Nightmare Manuscript will be a bit later once you get to a barn with a bright light that you have to use to fight a big possessed truck. Go up to the top floor to find this one. Nightmare Manuscript 14 is going to be once you get to the Larson's Scrapyard and you find it in the main building on the second floor. The 15th and final Nightmare Manuscript will be a bit later once you have to get power up for an elevator, and it'll be behind the generator on a fence. At this point, you should get the Collector's Edition achievement. And that's going to be all of the manuscript collectibles in Alan Wake, including the Nightmare Mode ones. If you find our guides helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out the linked playlist here for the rest of our Alan Wake guides.